What's up everyone, it's Nikos Tech Throw as you can see on the screen and today we'll be taking a look at Game Center for iOS 4.1. This is compatible with the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4 and iPod Touch generations 2 through the latest, so 2 through 4. Other than that, uh, unfortunately you won't be able to run it on an iPhone 3G or earlier as well as uh, iPod Touch first generations. Let's go ahead and get right into this. As you can see on the main screen it says my username. It tells me how many friends I have, how many compatible games I have, and how many achievements I've earned. What you see in the middle is a shameless plug. Under that you can see my email address. Let's go ahead and go into my friends list. And as you can see this is uh, Sapunis, which means like soap in Greek. It's a fun fact. And it'll show me how many friends he has, how many games he has, and how many achievements he has. I'll also be able to unfriend him if I so choose, and I don't. I've got no problems with him. And if you click report a problem, you can actually report the player uh, for misconduct or, you know, whatever your reason is. You can type a comment. It looks like there's only, there's only one, one reason right now. This player is being inappropriate. And if it's not listed there, you go ahead and tap that and then, you know, type uh, whatever your, your comment is. But I don't have a problem with Sapuni, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. On the games tab, of course, you'll see compatible games that you have. And under requests, it will show your friend requests. And you can go ahead and request somebody else as well by clicking on the plus sign. You can enter their email or nickname. If you guys would like to add me, there is my email and my nickname. So, you know, go ahead and add me if you'd like. We can play some games together. So the only compatible game I have right now for uh, Game Center is Real Racing. So let's go ahead and check that out. When you tap on that, it brings up the Real Racing screen. And as you can see, you can check leaderboards, achievements, and players that you recently encountered in the game. So under leaderboards, you have uh, overall leaderboard and a leaderboard for each track in the game. And under each, you'll have the option of seeing today's leaderboard, this week's leaderboard, and all-time leaderboards. As well as your friends' scores or all scores together. So let's go back and check out achievements. As you can see, there are good amount of achievements for this game, none of which I've earned. I'm going to go ahead and try to earn one on screen so uh, in this video so we can see what it looks like when you earn an achievement, if it, if it makes a sound or if there's a notification. Under that you can see players you've recently encountered. So if I played this game online, which I haven't yet since getting Game Center, uh, you know, I could see players that I played against and if from there if I'd like to I can add them, maybe send them a message. I'm not quite sure yet, but Again, they have the uh, friend request thing on the top right on that screen as well. So let's go ahead and launch the game. And if you haven't checked out this game yet, I, I would definitely recommend it. It's a great game, especially if you like racing sims. And here's a little Game Center notification. It says, Welcome Back. And from the game menu, you can access achievements. And it'll show you all your Game Center achievements. You can sync it. Though that sync, that sync button is specific to this game, so... We'll see what other games, how other games handle that. Let's go ahead and do a quick race and try to get that achievement. That's to uh, not go off course for an entire race. It should be pretty easy. So there you can see at the end it said between the lines at the bottom of the screen. And what that was is the achievement unlocking. There wasn't a special sound or anything like that. It did pop up at the bottom of the screen. So let's go ahead and do achievements. And right there you can see that it's been unlocked. And that's about it. That's Game Center. Let's go ahead into the achievements. And there you go. One achievement there. And under games it shows as well. So that's it. That's Game Center for iOS 4.1 for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 2nd, 3rd, and 4th generations. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We're going to have more content coming soon, including a review to this spec pixel skin, as you can hardly see. But I might go ahead and shoot that video right now and upload it soon. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.